So this is Ksenia Mia Bragilovsky at 106 Montcalm Boulevard. Uh, another video outreach to international authorities, um, Canadian, US, uh, European, UN, Interpol, whoever. I am to this day, I don't know what I'm doing in Canada and why I'm being attacked from all ends. Um, my mother in a state where she was not able to um, make a living in Canada, I don't know for what reasons, health, mental, or any other, or a combination of the two. Uh, I was raised however I was raised. I followed them into, uh, in Canada to immigrate as a dependent of two professionals. I was married to a congenitally ill individual. I was with him for more than 12 years. I am not in a state where I can uh, freely go and uh, date and seek partners because to this day I have not received proper medical care and I don't know what state I am in. Uh, in reference to Canadian standards, I have no idea what is happening to me here in Canada, why I'm being defrauded on my property, whether it is my property to begin with. Um, my car has been vandalized. Uh, over the past 12 hours, um, where the entire front rim of the car was just cut off, just plainly cut off. Uh, I don't have any friends, I don't have any connections, I'm still unemployed. I'm sitting in this house being defrauded, my property being vandalized, I receive no services. I have no idea what is going on. I don't know if we were lured into Canada, forced into this immigration for one reason or the other. I know that my mother uh, has undergone whatever she undergone in uh, SSR. We are, uh, we've been exiled from Ukraine first, then uh, we lived in uh, Uzbekistan, some side of my family immigrated to Israel. Uh, my mother, her spouse and I are in Canada. We, I am being tortured. My property is vandalized, I'm being defrauded, denied all rights. I don't know if I am a citizen to begin with. I have no idea what is going on. My life is being wasted. I am 37, will be 38. I filed numerous reports and uh, reports with York Regional Police, um, as well as sent communications to UN, uh, asking for interference and some sort of uh, mediation resolution of my status. I don't understand what is going on. Like. Why I'm being constantly attacked on the grounds and basis that I uh, of information that I've given out to uh, local police authorities. Specifically, my car has been vandalized exactly on the date when uh, the the date which is the birthday of my first and former boyfriend, so-called setup boyfriend from Uzbekistan who was actually a contractor and who was uh, appointed to date me and to spy on me um, to see what I do, where I go uh, at the time when I worked at a uh, non-government uh, organization in Uzbekistan, um, Jewish non-government organization. Uh, he subsequently discontinued his relationship or attempted to impregnate me, which didn't quite sit right with me. Um, so his birthday is on the 18th of November so that everyone knows that whatever happens to me on the 18th of November is because I've given out this information to the local police and whoever is doing anything to me on the November 18th uh, must know that his birthday is that on uh, the 18th. All right, so uh, my, all of my prices, my essential services uh, rates are being hiked unreasonably, completely in, in misalignment with the general population, with the average, and the average. So all in all, I am asking for one thing only, to take me out of this circus and 
like whoever wanted me to be taken out of circulation achieved its subjective. Yes, I was married to a congenitally ill individual for 12 years. I was in no state uh, to pick a proper spouse for myself. My mother and her spouse were in no state to make rational and reasonable decisions for my future. I married whoever I married, right? So if this society is so willing to judge me on who I married and why I married, go ahead, be my guest. All I am asking for right now is that I'm being taken out of harm's end. Um, but if Canada doesn't see it fit for me to be in Canada, I'm more than willing to work and live somewhere else. I am not imposing my presence onto Canada. I don't understand why I'm being constantly attacked, humiliated. I've been defrauded. I've been um, denied medical treatment. I've been denied equal, employ equal uh, employment opportunities. I've been denied fair wages. I've been um, set up in a, a road accident collision just to see uh, the MRI images of my brain, whether I am all right, whether I am imbecile or not, because my mother had an uh, abortion. Uh, back in Uzbekistan, and after that supposedly, allegedly botched abortion, uh, she had a stillborn, and then she uh, gave birth to me. So, if y'all folks are wondering whether I am imbecile, whether I am alright in the head, everything that you've done to me over the past 18 years probably contrib contributed to me being a complete imbecile at this point, uh, because like if you want me dead, you are more than welcome to do that. Yeah, sure, go ahead and just shoot me. Why to drag it out for days and years to come? You've already uh, watched me in this BS marriage for 12 years. Everyone thought it's fine. Like, okay, uh, I might be imbecile myself with some congenital illness, whatever. Uh, so everyone sees it. For me to be in this relationship, um, knowing full well the status of my parents, that they are in no position to make rational choices and decisions for themselves, let alone for me. So that was a lie by everyone, that I've been shoved in and out of completely incoherent and adequate jobs, that was a lie by everyone too, that I am now completely vulnerable to policing authorities, municipal authorities, to Canadian authorities to do whatever it is fit for them to do with me, vandalize my property, defraud me out of my money, drive me into poor credit ratings by opening up accounts here and there, by hacking into my phones and billing me just on a whim anything and everything that they see fit just so that they can open accounts everywhere and drive my credit rating into a non-existent status. Why drag it out for days? Just do it in one day and get it over with. If Canada lured us into here to drive us into a witness protection of sorts to see uh, their goals met, I'm not willing to live in a witness protection. I want a normal life for myself. Canada wasn't prepared to uh, provide it for me, so what do you want from me in return? Love and adoration. You've already set up sitting ducks around me on all ends. I don't have actual neighbors. All of them are setups. They are driving Ford pickup trucks. Another uh, sexual harassment report that I filed with your regional po police that Ford pickup truck, dark gray or black, exactly the one standing in front of my windows for the past year so that I remember exactly how that RC, RCMP appointed contractor of whatever Middle Eastern origin sexually harassed me in October, November 2006, 
just so that I settle on which direction to work towards or work with. So that's all right. These ones are also a setup uh, neighborly couple uh, that are just two individuals living in this uh, state-owned property. They just supervise the neighborhood. They have all these fancy Christmas decorations uh, going in all directions, but I don't know what they're doing. I don't know if what kind of intentions they have uh, towards me. They've been surveilling me over the past 2010, you know, 12 years. So in 12 years, I am in a poorer condition than I was, so I don't know what they want. So yeah, folks, again, um, I'm not imposing my pregnancy, uh, my <laughs> pregnancy on Canada. I'm not imposing myself on the Canadian society. I like, I'm not asking you to have babies with me or anything like that. All I'm asking is, uh, uh, opportunity to have a normal life, whether it's in Canada or somewhere else. At this point, I am a displaced person. Uh, my parents are in no state, mental, physical, or financial. They were not in a state, mental, physical, or financial uh, to support and uh, direct me and to provide for me to begin with. So, yeah. Local police and authorities, if I, I don't know, like, what do you want to do? Do you want to take my shelter away from me, my car away from me? You want to give me another, I don't know, AIDS-infected now individual to marry to and try to have babies with? I haven't done nothing wrong to Canada as of June 2006 when I entered here. I had uh, big aspirations for myself, etc., etc., and nothing came out of it. So, like, at this point, I don't know what remediation you want from me. You want me to continue to renew the driving license and renew the health card, and then, I don't know, seek protection from local policing authorities that, who know nothing about me and my state and my history and who are being manipulated into doing more harm than good to me? Like, I don't know, what, what do you expect from me? Where do I go now? Interpol, UN, Amnesty International, US, like, where do I go? I'm a, I'm a displaced person. I've always been a displaced person, and you knew it very well. 